you feel like in the middle of the round that your golf swing goes awry, almost like you have the full swing yips? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. In this episode, I'm going to help a golfer who struggles with his drives on the second nine. You're watching Sessions with Doc. Here's the question that I received from Robert. He said, the front nine, my driver seems fine. When I start the back nine, I can't start my downswing with some type of pause or hitch. And then the next thing you know, it's all upper body and I pull it dead left. I go to the driving range before and after my round and my swing is totally fine. And my shots go straight. Please help me with this. Well, Robert, thanks for your question. It sounds like you have some form of the full swing yips. Well, what are the full swing yips? The full swing yips is when you over control what you're doing with the golf club. That means you're thinking too much about mechanics, too much about how to swing the club, and maybe too much about hitting a bad shot as well. And thus, that's part of the yips is when golfers tend to focus on the bad shot that they're going to hit, and that creates some of the fear that they have, and that leads to the over-control as well. But it's not just about the mechanical aspect, the over-control. It's also about the fear. But the fear is about often fear of embarrassment, fear of looking silly, or fear of not playing up to your potential on the golf course or what you think you're capable of. Now, if it's fine on the front night, and then all of a sudden on the back nine, you start to get this hitch in your swing, that's a little bit unusual because when I work with golfers on the yips, they tend to start the round with the yips. And it's that first swing or first bad swing creating a bad shot that starts the ball rolling with them. But in your case, you're able to swing fine pre-round, post-round, and on the front nine. So something's changing for you on the back nine. Now, if you have a good score going, for example, you might be protecting that good score and wanting to play up to your potential. That could be the issue that's going on with your particular fear is, I really want to finish this round off. I scored well on the front nine, keep it going. And then all of a sudden you're score conscious, you're worried about your outcome score, and thus that can create enough tension where you could start to yip at it. I don't know if this is a case of the full-blown yips, but there's certainly tension going on there. The other option is maybe for whatever reason you start to worry about what your playing partners think and you don't want to embarrass yourself with a bad drive. That could be part of it too. Often when I work with golfers on the yips, it's about the fear of embarrassment and worrying about what others think. That's the underlying fear, as I call it, which leads to the over control, which leads to the jabbing and stabbing, whether it's on the green or whether it's the full shot. Here's some things that you need to do. The first thing is stop worrying about your score. Stop adding up your score. Stop thinking you have to play to a target number to play well that day. If that indeed is part of the fear that's going on with you. Secondly, you can't care what others think. If your playing partner hits a bad drive, how do you look at that? Are you embarrassed for them? Probably not. You probably look at it totally different than what you think they're assessing you and your game. So blow that off completely about what others might think if you hit a bad drive or have a bad hole. Next, you have to make sure that you're focused on your target and hitting it to your target. And finally, you want to make sure that you're also swinging the club freely. What that means is no mechanics, keep it very simple, what I call target or tempo, grip it and rip it, take your full swing, don't baby it or guide it or steer it out there because that's part of the over control phenomenon. Hey, if you want more information about mental coaching for golfers, jump over to peaksports.com. And you can click on Contact Us or check out our coaching programs there. In addition, we recently produced Golfer's Mental Edge 2.0, our premium audio and workbook program for golfers. And we also have Breaking the Yip Cycle, how to overcome the putting and chipping yips. And certainly it applies to the full shot as well. Thanks. <laughs>